he has said that um, he would be open to a trilogy with Anthony Joshua. No, God! No, God, please, no! If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG and Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. So today, you know, we have some news coming out from Alexander Usyk. You know, he was, um, he, 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 he had, he was interviewed by, um, I don't remember who he was interviewed. I ain't going to cap to you. But he was, he was interviewed just recently. He was talking about, um, some, his future, you know, after the Tyson Fury, uh, rematch, you know, after the rematch that him and Tyson Fury will have upcoming, um, in December, you know, he was talking about what his future's endeavors will be. And he has said that um, he would be open to a trilogy with Anthony Joshua. No, God! No, God, please, no! Yeah, so you can... <laughs> So you look, you can look at it right here, man. He went in, in, into great detail and talked about it. You know, he was very humble. You know, and I, I thought it was dope, man. How can you not like Alexander Usyk? It reminded me of uh, what, what, when him and um, Terrence Crawford, you know, that him and Terrence Crawford are friends, you know, because Terrence Crawford is another humble fighter. You know, he might get a lot of hate because people confuse being confident with being, um, um, or with not being humble. But that's not that's not the case, man. He's just a confident dude and he believes in his skills. But he's very humble. Is he though? Um, but anyway, that's not that's neither here nor there. Now, so let's get back to the uh, the. the the potatoes and, and, and the conversation at hand, man. We have Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk talking about a trilogy, and and I think that uh, Usyk is, is dope, and and and, and he's uh, right to offer him that, you know, because if Anthony Joshua does beat Daniel Dubois, you know, and then and if and if Alexander Usyk manages to beat Tyson Fury again, then yeah, I, I don't think it would be unjustified, you know, what I'm saying it'll, it'll, it'll be justified to ask for that fight, but I just don't think it's, it's 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 really necessary, you know. I think there's so many other fights that I would prefer. For them to have, you know, that don't involve each other, you know, like if Anthony Joshua beats Daniel Dubois, and even if Alexander Usyk beats Tyson Fury, I'd still rather see Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. Yeah. Me personally, you know what I'm saying? And then let's say that, uh, uh, for, let's say let's say for uh, Usyk, right? I'd rather see Usyk versus somebody like Big Bang Zhang or even Martin Bacoli, yeah. you know, or even Ajit Kabayel. Hell, I'd rather see Ajit Kabayel versus Anthony Joshua, win or lose, especially if Anthony Joshua loses to Dubois. You know, he could fight, he could still fight Bacoli or even fight uh, Joseph Parker rematch. There's so many other things. So I, I just think that trilogies should be warranted, you know. Um, it's not even about more so do you deserve it because Anthony Joshua, he's a beast, right? You know, shout out to the Nigerians out there and shout out to the Englishmen and women, you know, um, but uh, I think, I think even if you could deserve a trilogy, but doesn't mean that it's warranted, you know, say those are two different things, right? So in my opinion, it's like Anthony Joshua, right? He lost by a uh, unanimous decision the first time. And then he lost by split decision the, the, the second time. Right. It's like, it's like Abner Mars and Leo Santa Cruz. Right. Or, or even Floyd Mayweather, and Marcos Maidana, they both lost uh, a Marcos Maidana lost um, to Floyd Mayweather and Abner Mars lost to Leo Santa Cruz the first time by a majority decision. And then the second time it was more clear, right? It was a unanimous decision. So it's showing you that the more times they fight, the bigger the gap would be, you know, now the difference with Anthony Joshua and Usyk is that, you know, in their defense, the first fight was a, a, a unanimous decision, and then the second fight got closer. It was a split decision for um, for Usyk. So you could argue that if they had a trilogy, maybe Anthony Joshua could win, you know. But I just felt like from watching that fight, those fights, I just feel like that Usyk is just, you know, not even necessarily. I mean, I think he's better. Of course, I think he's the best heavyweight right now. But it's not even about him being better overall. I just think that he just has Anthony Joshua's number. You know, that, that's how I feel. How do you feel about it? Like, I, I just feel like um, it just feels like no matter what, Usyk is just one step ahead of Anthony Joshua. So in my personal opinion, I don't want to see this trilogy. I don't think this trilogy is necessary. Um, is it justified? Yeah, because especially if Anthony Joshua wins against Daniel Dubois and, and Usyk beats Tyson Fury, you know, um, then it's definitely justified, you know, because right now Anthony Joshua, by consensus, is considered the third best heavyweight, right? Usyk number one, Tyson Fury number two, and, and Anthony Joshua number three. But like I said, even in the scenario where Usyk beats Tyson Fury, and Anthony Joshua beats David Dubois. I still would prefer to see Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua or even Anthony Joshua versus Big Bang Zhang or something like that, man. I just feel like we, we've been there, done that. There's so many up and coming heavyweights that, that are intriguing and so many matchups that are intriguing and interesting. I think that's just, I think it's just a waste of time to go back to revisit Anthony Joshua and Usyk at this moment, you know, in my personal opinion, you know, in the imminent future, maybe later on down the line, you know, but that's probably not realistic either because Usyk is 37, you know. Damn.
I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, man. Do you, if, if Anthony Joshua beats Daniel Dubois, which I think Daniel Dubois has a huge chance to uh, pull the up, pull the upset off, and if and if Tyson Fury beats. I mean, if Usyk beats Tyson Fury, which I think Tyson Fury has a good chance of winning the rematch as well. But let's say the scenario is that they both win, Usyk and Joshua. Do you, would you like to see that rematch? Or would you like to see them go in other directions apart from each other, man? I prefer the latter for them to go in other directions apart from each other, man. But that's just me, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. But most importantly, remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.